Hello, and welcome to the overview of Epsilon 3's current functionality as of July 17th, 2024. You'll notice if you've seen past versions of Epsilon 3 that we recently uh, released totally new navigation, uh, as well as additional features that we'll be covering today. Before we do, the core purpose of Epsilon 3 is to help complex engineering teams build, integrate, test, and operate their hardware. We support this through three primary methods, optimizing your processes, reducing human error and risk, and providing complete digital traceability across all of your engineering activities. Let's hop in. On my screen here, you can see a list of all running procedures across my organization. These can of course be filtered by program, by function, or by applicable customer. These will provide leadership with complete insight into the active status, who is participating, and even down to the granularity of what steps are being signed off on by whom. Of course, these procedure runs don't just appear. They're generated, imported, and stored in your master procedure library. Epsilon 3 has completely built in editing, version control, and approval and release processes. Every time you run your procedures, we collect valuable metadata that your leadership can use to improve engineering functions. While procedures are the core of what we do, Epsilon 3 has several other modules that provide significant value to engineering teams uh, and continue to improve digital traceability. That starts with our builds module, which stores uh, critical information like inventory, part designs and schematics, tools for digital tool libraries, purchase orders, and insights into your builds and costs over time. Below that, Epsilon 3 also has a full requirement system these can be imported through spreadsheets or via API from a requirements tool of your choice. Test points can be generated, incorporated into test plans to verify said requirements. All of this can be scheduled using our planning module. You'll notice that we have a operational concept with an operation simply being a collection of procedures that have been scheduled at a certain time and assigned to a certain individual. Schedules will provide organization-wide Gantt charts, uh, and these can be imported and exported as needed. Finally, Epsilon 3 has introduced native non-conformance reporting. These can be attached and customized to parts, inventory, purchase orders, procedures, uh, really anything in Epsilon 3 that we touch. And of course, last but not least, critical data that gets brought in from test procedures can all be saved, stored, visualized, and manipulated in the same place where you're actually running said test. All of this is underpinned by a general concept of role-based permissions to ensure that only the proper engineers and operators are taking the steps that they should. All past runs of procedures are saved for complete digital traceability.